All right, what's going on guys, Sam here, and today we're gonna to be discussing what we could possibly be seeing tomorrow in the final spotlights coming out and you know the lock-in for the diamond bill russell and the pink diamond dr j alongside you know the final set that could be coming alongside it as well and the lock-in for that so first things first before we get into it i'm just gonna remind you guys go ahead subscribe if you're brand new to the channel we are on the road to 17,000 subs crazy to say that large of a number but go ahead subscribe if you're new and hit the like button if you guys already subbed it would be much appreciated but let's go ahead get right into it and the first thing i want to say is i was surprised we didn't get super packs today as you can see you know it's monday we got nothing new and the final spotlights or not the final the second to last final spotlight ends tomorrow which means if they stay on the same track we're going to be getting the final spotlights tomorrow and just a quick reminder i'll go to the collections here to show you guys i have completed all of these spotlights and i haven't completed all the sets for dr j i'll show you or all the sets leading up to this week but as you see, we got Ruby Evan Turner, Norm Nixon, Walt Frazier, Michael Thompson, and then we have the final mystery player that should be coming out tomorrow. And I have no idea who it could be. Um, maybe some other defensive player because it seems like that seems to be the whole focus of both these sets, just defensive players. And I assume we're going to be seeing a Ruby because it, it started with Sapphire, Sapphire, Ruby, Ruby. So probably a Ruby tomorrow, maybe if we're lucky in Amethyst. But either way, we know this locks in for the Diamond Bill Russell. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and a comparable uh, card, or you know, in terms of stats and stuff, this is what I'm thinking the Diamond Bill Russell will look like tomorrow. Probably, assuming we get it tomorrow, it could we could you know they could surprise us and not drop it tomorrow. But assuming we get it tomorrow, uh, this is a card from last year, the Amethyst Token Award Bill Russell, and I am gonna say I think the stats are gonna be a little bit better since it's a lock-in. I'm not expecting it, him to have a three ball. I think the three ball will be the same. But I do expect the mid-range to be maybe like a 70 and maybe, you know, I think I think this is spot on with the defensive badges. They'll probably give him clamps and heart crusher. I wouldn't be surprised if they give him all the defensive badges. And then I, everything else, I think, I think this is pretty accurate. They'll probably give him the same finishing badges, maybe contact finisher. But I think stat-wise, this is perfect. This is perfect how how the Bill Russell will look tomorrow. So if you guys, you know, are excited for the Diamond Bill Russell, I think this is a good card to kind of base it off of. And I think he'll be a slight, slight bit better since he's a lock-in. But, you know, I, I don't, don't expect him to have, you know, the GOAT Bill Russell stats. So that's what I'm thinking for Bill Russell. thought I'd just throw that in here. And assuming they copy over the same tendencies, this Bill Russell is going to be, you know, amazing at everything but shooting, basically. So thought I could bring that up. But before we uh, get into the Dr. J, I just want to show you guys, obviously, the set as well. And if we go over to the season rewards here and hit L2 or R2, you'll see that we have one more lock-in, and I have Draymond Green locked in. Love this card, by the way. Totally worth it. But Diamond Dennis Rodman, Diamond Latrell Sprewell, and Diamond Gary Payton, and then we get the last lock-in tomorrow. Now, speculation-wise, I do, you know, I talked to you guys this morning in the stream, and we were, you know, trying to guess what players it could be, and I don't know. As you see, we have a power forward, a power forward, a small forward, and a point guard, so it could be, it could be a shooting guard. I guess Latrell's a shooting guard, so we have a point guard, shooting guard, power forward power forward and it, you know it could be a small forward it really could be but for some reason you know and i'll probably be wrong but i hope i'm right uh i, I don't know i think we'll get a defensive player as you see all these players are defensive you know they're, they're defensive players and i'm kind of thinking we'll get a center and my guess i'm just gonna throw this out there maybe a david robinson i mean these players haven't been too hyped so maybe you know they know david robinson a lot of people like him so maybe they wouldn't throw him in here but then at the same time, I could see them throwing in maybe a Dave Robinson as the reward for the last set for people to rip packs and stuff like that. I don't know. That's just my guess. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but you guys can let me know in the comments below who you think the final lock-in set's going to be. I'm very curious to see what you guys are going to say. Definitely a defensive player, though, so keep that in mind if they follow the same trend. You know, 2K could throw a curveball at us, but that's just my guess. Maybe Patrick Ewing, you know, someone, some defensive center is in my opinion defensive center maybe a small forward but i don't know my guess is a center but with that out of the way i'm going to quickly just go through and do give you guys a price check on these cards and just tell you uh what i'm thinking you should do if you want to you know maybe lock in this dr j and then i'm going to switch over and show you guys comparable stats to what i think dr j might be like tomorrow so as you see here the first set is the playoff stoppers with diamond gary payton and this ben wallace uh, i got him for 200k last week and i Heard people getting in for like 170 so i even overpaid a little bit but i will say this since we didn't get super packs and if you have even the slightest bit of interest in locking in for dr j and 
keyword here, not keyword, key phrase. If you can afford it, if you have plenty of MT, then I'd probably buy Ben Wallace today because if Dr. J ends up being really, really good, like everyone's raving over him, and he's just really good, like a must have, uh, these cards are gonna go up in price. And I'm, I'm surprised how many Ben Wallaces are up right now, so it might not be the worst idea to pick him up now. The rest of these cards are pretty cheap. I actually ended up sniping. I almost locked in the set there. Don't wanna do that just yet. I'm. If you guys wanna know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm gonna have all these cards, but I'm not gonna lock the sets until I see the stats on the Dr. J. But no, the rest of these cards are pretty cheap. I got Doug Christie with like an extra Hall of Fame badge and like good stats. Same thing with Dennis Johnson, Bill Walton. Got a lot of these guys really cheap. So the most expensive card here, Ben Wallace. Moving on to the back-to-back, -back, the most expensive card is Lamar Odom, and he's going for, okay, There's we have 50 minutes on this next one, but I've been watching him. He's going for about 150 to 160, so same thing with Lamar, or same thing as Ben Wallace. I'd probably get Lamar now, and as you can see, there's so many ending here in the next four hours, so if you even have the slightest bit of interest in maybe getting the Dr. J, I'm not saying it's a good, good lock-in. It's never worth locking in sets, guys, but you... You know how it is. Sometimes you know you, you know you know what's good for you, but you don't do it. You don't follow that. You don't follow uh, the advice. If you you know are going to go against that and lock for Dr. J, I would go ahead and pick up these cards today. Same thing with Isaiah Thomas. I've been seeing him about 70k. I would get these cards today and not wait for tomorrow because, like I said, if Dr. J is really good, these cards are going to go up in price. And that's assuming we don't get super packs this week. And I. I don't think we're gonna get super packs. Maybe, maybe next week to conclude the season, they'll you know do season one super packs, and that could definitely be a thing. Um, but again, I'm talking purely for tomorrow, and you know the day before uh, the assumed Dr. J comes out. So Chris Webber, another card. This one's gonna set you back a couple, a couple hundred thousand MT. But Chris Webber, in my opinion, this set is worth it. Draymond Green's a beast, so I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger there on Chris Webber, and then. The final set here, I'm actually slacking the most. I'm going to try to snipe these guys tonight, or if I can't snipe them, pick them up. Dikembe Mutombo and Kyrie Irving. Mutombo, I think he's going to stay around 100K, maybe go under a little bit. I'm kind of surprised he's not a buyout, so he's probably going to flow around 100K. But Kyrie Irving, I definitely see a Chris Webber scenario going on here with this set. And Latrell Sprewell is not even that good like Draymond Green. But as you can see here, Kyrie Irving, um, there's not as many up, nearly as many as the as the Matumbo, so I would pick up Kyrie Irving today again if you have any interest in getting him in the future or for that Dr. J set because just I I, I don't know I can see a Chris Webber scenario going here where Chris Webber you know he if you guys didn't know he was way below 100k not way below he was like 80 to 90k and then once the packs went away you see where he's at now 200,000 but with that out of the way guys I know I talked about prices there for a little bit but I really want you guys uh, to buy these cards now if you you know are even thinking about getting dr j because i can just see it happening where dr j is actually really good and a lot of people you know rush to race to lock in the set and then you guys have to pay like maybe double the prices tomorrow if you really want dr j but no with that out of the way let's switch back over to 2 kdb here and i'm going to show you guys what i think the dr j might look like tomorrow and after you know gassing up how much uh how good this dr j might be and then bringing up this card, you guys might be kind of upset with me, but realistically, he's not going to have a 73 three ball. I'll, call, I'll say that right now. He's not going to have a 73 three ball. He's going to have at least an 80. I'm going to say that much, but I think the rest of these stats are pretty, are pretty accurate. I think he might be a little bit faster. Let's see what he looks like with the duo from last year. I think that's definitely overkill. He's not going to have a 93 ball, but I think, um, I want to say man, 95 speeds a little a little too generous i think he might be a little bit faster he'll definitely have the vertical he'll definitely have the dunk at 96 maybe 98 standing dunk i could see that being the same i can see the steel and block being higher he's definitely gonna have good defense because again this is that diamond from last year we could look at the amethyst which is about the same thing yeah let's go back to the diamond <laughs> we're gonna go back to the diamond um i think stat wise this is pretty accurate maybe he'll be a little bit quicker with the ball again since he's a lock-in i could definitely since this car wasn't a lock-in last year he's not gonna be that fancy but i could definitely see i'll just throw in the duo i could see the card looking like this a little bit slower with the ball a little bit slower speed wise definitely not a 93 ball definitely not a 95 mid-range but i could see the defense being good lateral quickness definitely not a 95 maybe like 88 89 90 if they're being generous and then the rebounding i could see it being higher too and then looking at the badges 
Dr. J, he's going to come with Hall of Fame contact finisher, in my opinion. He's going to come with a lot of finishing badges. I wouldn't be surprised if they throw Giant Slayer on him. Maybe not Giant Slayer, but th they're going to have, you know, all the finishing badges on him. They'll definitely give him Hot Zone Hunter, because this year they seem to be a lot more, uh, you know, they're nicer with the, the shooting badges, it seems like. They'll give him more shooting badges. The big question is, are they going to give him Range Extender? And I doubt... I don't know. I don't think he'll come with range extender, which is kind of an L because it's expensive to get range on these guys. But maybe if 2K is feeling nice, they'll put bronze on him and you can just you can just upgrade it. But if he has range, I'm telling you right now, people are gonna freak out. But shooting badge wise, I think he's gonna have you know he's gonna have more than than three shooting badges. Playmaking, he'll definitely have quick first step. You know, doubt he has dimer, doubt he has unpluckable and stuff. But he's gonna have quick first step for sure and some more playmaking badges. And then he's definitely gonna have clamps. Probably on Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Probably going to have Pogo Stick. Wouldn't be surprised if he has um, maybe Intimidator. Maybe, just maybe, Interceptor. Um, and that's about it. Maybe even Tireless Defender, too. But definitely, they're going to throw Pogo Stick on him. So that's what I'm thinking what the Dr. J could potentially look like tomorrow. I know it's a lot of speculation, but I really, I really think these are really good comparisons to what we could potentially see tomorrow especially i think this bill russell is spot on but dr j it's really up in there if they give him range and he has juice stats this set you know people are going to be freaking out about this card and if they don't give him range and his stats are bad then i could see the lock-in cards going down in value but that is going to do it for the video today guys if you enjoyed and if you made it this far go ahead hit the like button but also leave a comment below saying dr j's afro if you made it this far in the video sometimes you know it's cool to see the people who watch this far so go ahead comment dr j's afro below in the comments don't ask me why but just comment that it's kind of cool like i said to see who watches this far but again if you made it this far and you're not subscribed subscribe we live stream here every day on youtube and we upload multiple times per week but with that being said guys have a great rest of your day peace out <laughs>